Hippopotamus, the most territorial and aggressive animal in Africa. What's the most aggressive animal in Africa? Chances are you thought the lion, hyena, or crocodile. However, there's one animal which, despite being an herbivore, is a much more aggressive and even more dangerous than these apex predators. This is Wild Facts, and today we're going to tell you the story of the hippopotamus, the most territorial and aggressive animal in Africa. Before we start, consider subscribing to our channel and clicking the notification bell so you're the first one to see our new video. River Hippopotamus 101 The river hippopotamus, also called the common hippopotamus, is a large, semi-aquatic animal inhabiting the Nile Basin and most of sub-Saharan Africa. This animal is a distant relative of whales, as it shared a common ancestor with cetaceans about 60 million years ago. This ancestor was a semi-aquatic mammal that split into two main lineages, one leading to dolphins, porpoises, and whales, while the other resulted in hippos. It becomes less weird when you consider the gigantic size of the hippopotamus. Their total body length ranges from 9.5 to 16.6 feet or 2.3 to 5.05 meters and their height at the shoulder ranges from 4.2 to 5.4 feet or 1.3 to 1.65 meters. Male hippos are called bulls and on average weigh 3,310 pounds or 1,500 kilograms, while females are called cows and average 2,870 pounds or 1,300 kilograms. In fact, it's the third largest land animal in the world, only behind elephants and rhinos. Despite their size, they are insanely quick and can reach a speed of 19 miles per hour or 30 kilometers per hour. In addition to that, their front teeth can grow up to 1.2 feet or 36 centimeters long, and tusks can reach 1.5 feet or 45 centimeters. That makes them the owners of the largest teeth among all land animals. Hippos back up their long teeth with an insane bite force that can reach 1,800 psi. In comparison, the average bite force of a lion is only 650 psi, meaning hippos can bite with over 2.5 times the force of an adult lion. Luckily, they're herbivores and primarily graze on grasses, but sometimes supplement their diet with fruits, especially the sausage tree fruits and some aquatic vegetation. Hippos eat about 1% of their body weight in food every day, which isn't that much compared to other grazers. For example, cows eat as much as 2.5% of their body weight in food every day. This animal spends the vast majority of its days submerged in water and mud. This allows it to remain cool in the unforgivingly hot sub-Saharan climate. Each bull has its own section of water stretching about 270 yards or 250 meters. It can be in a mangrove swamp, river, or lake. Every section includes the so-called beach master, which is the main bull of the pod that includes about 10 cows and a dozen calves. Some of the biggest recorded pods included over 100 individual hippos. The beach master protects its territory with everything it has. It isn't afraid of attacking anyone entering its water section, including lions, which sometimes prey on hippo calves. To understand just how territorial and aggressive hippos are, we have to acknowledge that they are responsible for about 500 human deaths per year. In comparison, lions kill only about 20 people each year. Let that sink in for a minute. Hippopotamuses kill more than 20 times as many humans as lions do. That said, beachmasters sometimes allow younger bulls to enter its territory with the caveat that they aren't going to challenge its position. While hippos live in pods and gather together in close proximity in the water, they aren't particularly social animals and leave the water to graze on their own. The most common manner of communication is called the wheeze honk, which is a vocalization that can be heard up to 1 mile or 1.6 kilometers away. The honk can be as loud as 115 decibels, which is comparable to a really intense rock concert. It's speculated that individuals can distinguish each other by the sound of their wheeze honk. Another way of communication is called yawning, and it happens when hippos, most commonly bulls, open their jaws as a threat display. If a bull feels threatened or that its territory or pot is threatened, it will engage in brutal combat. Bulls fight using their long teeth, attempting to injure with canines while defending with incisors. Arguably, the most unique feature of the common hippopotamus is called blood sweat. 
Unlike other mammals, hippos don't have sweat glands, but rather secrete red-colored mucus from their pores, which covers their skin and protects their bare skin from getting sunburned. There's also theories about it having antibacterial properties, as it's rare to witness a hippo with an infected wound, despite them inhabiting filthy waters. Hippopotamus subspecies The river hippo has five subspecies, which are primarily differentiated by geographical range and differences in skull shape. The Angola hippopotamus inhabits the area spanning from the Democratic Republic of Congo to Angola and Namibia. It has noticeably deep orbits. The Cape hippopotamus can be found in Zambia and South Africa and has the flattest skull of all the subspecies. East African hippos inhabit the African Great Lakes region and are characterized by broad nasals. The Great Northern Hippopotamus, also called the Nile Hippopotamus, was historically found in Egypt, but has since gone extinct there and can be found in Mozambique and Tanzania. Finally, the West African hippo has the shortest but widest face and is spread across Western Africa. Although these five hippo subspecies have been noted in literature, it's unknown to what degree they're genetically divergent. There's a chance that the noted skull differences aren't statistically significant and are simply a sampling error. Regardless of that, there's a whole separate hippo species called the pygmy hippopotamus. Pygmy hippopotamus. Although it shares the common name with the river hippopotamus, pygmy hippos belong to a separate genus, Choropsis. They are much smaller than their distant relatives and on average have a total body length ranging from 4.92 to 5.74 feet or 1.5 to 1.75 meters. And they have a weight ranging from 400 to 600 pounds or 180 to 275 kilograms. They stand anywhere from 2.5 to 3.3 feet or 75 to 100 centimeters high at the shoulder. Pygmy hippos are not that much smaller than river hippos but are much less populated. It's estimated that there's around 2,500 individual pygmy hippos living in the world. They can be found in just a few areas in Sierra Leone, Liberia, and the Ivory Coast. As an endangered species, its population continues to suffer from illegal poaching, which is rampant because pygmy hippo meat is considered a delicacy in some parts of Africa. Just like river hippos, pygmy hippos are herbivores, feeding on grasses, ferns, plants, and fruits. They're also semi-aquatic, but spend much more time on land compared to river hippos. For example, pygmy hippos can mate and give birth in the water and on land, while river hippos reproduce only in the water. Finally, unlike their relatives, pygmy hippos aren't territorial. That said, they can still be aggressive and dangerous animals. Now that we've covered both extant hippo species, let's go back in time and see some of the most interesting extinct hippo species. Extinct Hippos The European hippopotamus roamed our Earth about 1.2 million years ago with youngest fossils dating back 300,000 years. It inhabited the warmer regions of Europe, primarily the Iberian Peninsula, but was distributed as far away as the British Isles in Greece. It was larger than the common hippopotamus and on average weighed about 7,040 pounds or 3,200 kilograms. Most interestingly, it's speculated that it evolved into three distinct dwarf hippo species. The Cypress dwarf hippopotamus, which was roughly the same size as the pygmy hippopotamus, the Cretan dwarf hippopotamus, and the Sicilian hippopotamus, which was much larger than other dwarf species. These dwarf hippos were smaller than mainland species because of a phenomenon called insular dwarfism. It happens when a species migrates to an island, which is a much more limited environment compared to the mainland. It has less available food, but also fewer predators, both factors leading to decreased size of the species. But what about the largest extinct hippo? It's called the Hippopotamus gorgops and is estimated to have weighed from 8,600 to 9,900 pounds or 3,900 to 4,500 kilograms. That's three times the weight of the river hippopotamus. However, this extinct species was not only heavier than its modern counterpart, but also larger. It had a total body length of about 14 feet or 4.3 meters and a height of 6.9 feet or 2.1 meters at the shoulder. It inhabited the Levant and most of the fossils were found in Israel. However, with the changing climate, it had to migrate to South Africa where it likely evolved into the river hippo. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and suggestions for future videos in the comments section down below. 
If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell, and check out our previous videos. Until next time.